Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in today's video, this is highly requested. Everyone wants to know about my lunch kuta that I take on all of my trips and people want to know how I meal prep my meals. In today's video, I'm going to prepare all of my meals and my snacks for a three day trip. Now before I do any of this, I have to take you guys' favorite dog on a walk. And I have to go to the grocery store. I have to get a few things. I already have my major stuff at the house, but I do have to get a few things just to make sure my lunch bag is full. I have no idea what I'm gonna use onion and bell pepper for, but I'm gonna grab them just in case. And I love this avocado mash. It saves me from dealing with actual avocados. I like these because they're microwavable and they taste really good. I heat them on my layovers. And as I mentioned in a previous vlog, I really love these turkey patties. While my blueberries are soaking, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my baked chicken. So I'm just going to have some baked chicken legs and I'm going to go ahead and put those in the oven. So what I'm preparing for my meal prep on this three day trip is broccoli, Brussels sprouts, chicken legs, and Beyond Meat patties. And I'm also gonna take that rice that you put in the microwave as well. Even though I'm using a measuring cup to put the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts into each container, I don't count calories or anything like that. It just helps me make sure that I'm putting equal amounts into each container.
So in my last vlog, I mentioned that I like to prepare a meal for when I get done and when I come home for my trip so I'm not cooking after my trip. So this is what I'm doing right here. So I'm just going to have some Brussels sprouts and turkey patties. So these are all my meals and snacks for three days. And let's see if I can fit all of this stuff in here into here. This is the challenge. Let's talk about the pros and the cons of the bag. The pros, I really like that it's very large and it keeps all of my food cold for three days. And it actually holds my food for three days. I also like that you can put loose ice into the cooler and it does stay solid, but because I'm in and out of my bag a lot, I don't want all of my food to be wet. Then the con is that it doesn't have more pockets. It only has one pocket in the front and it doesn't have a water bottle holder. But on my backpack, I do have a pocket for my water bottle, so that doesn't bother me as bad, but I really wish it did have an additional pocket on the cooler. And I always pack some aluminum foil and a few extra Ziploc bags because you never know, you might just need that. The bag that I carry is the luggage work something or another. I don't know. I'll make sure I put a description there. But I always carry my lunch cooler like this every single time because it can be really heavy on day one because I only use glass containers. So I put it in the front. I make sure it's even because if not, it'll just fall out to the side and it'll get really frustrating. I've already taken my J hook off so that doesn't get in the way. And then it's really, really light. I really like carrying this Travel Pro Crew Cooler. I call it my baby lunch bag because it's really small and it's shaped like a cube. It kind of puts you in the mind of like a medium sized watermelon. I really like that it has a strap on it, a top handle and the Velcro in the back so you can slide it over your luggage. And then this is my very first lunch bag. My e-bags crew cooler. It has a lot of wear and tear because like I said, it's my very first lunch bag. And the things that I don't like about this bag, it just doesn't keep my food cold. That was the most like thing that I didn't like about it. It does have a lot of pockets, a lot of attachments, a lot of drink holders and things like that. But the cooling system just didn't work as well for me. And I also took the strap off because it was kind of getting in the way. Okay, you guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about my meals or the cooler, please make sure you leave them in the comment section. So closing thoughts. The reason why I got the Arctic 20 can cooler is because it fit well with the width of my current suitcase. They do have a 30 can and it is wider. So I was like, uh, that's a little bit too wide, although I really did want it. They initially did not have black in the 20 can. So that's why I was heavily considering the 30 can. But when the black came out, which was I think around November of 2020, I I immediately got on it because I knew it was going to sell out fast and it did but I think it's back in stock so all the links for everything will be in the description and in the first pinned comment so make sure you check those out and you guys know I can't leave you without giving you some more max footage So make sure you subscribe.